or will basically it highlights the optimism of this new administration, especially coming after uh, May 9 uh, presidential elections. We've seen a very strong uh, position from the stock market. Uh, the moves that he has communicated to uh, everybody seems to be taken uh, a very positive response from both local and foreign investors. So basically, uh, after winning the elections, he came up with his 10-point agenda, which appears to be well received by the, by the public at large. And indeed, Jonas, the index breached 8,100 last week. That is the highest in 15 months. But what we keep hearing is that a lot of investors are still complaining that some blue chips are still kind of pricey. Is that a concern for you? Oh, well, basically, yes, the valuations are quite high. Um, market appears to be waiting for second quarter earnings to probably justify the present levels of uh, valuations at this time. Uh, so this could still keep the market uh, probably testing the all-time high of 8136 post, uh, post sauna. Uh, if the earnings uh, will probably on the average for the market will be between 3 to 5 percent, then that would probably bring the index uh, to a new high again. So you've talked about uh, corporate earnings being one of the catalysts this week. What about the Fed, possible Fed rate hike? We do know that the Fed Open Market Committee is meeting later this week, Jonas. Oh, well, basically, I guess if we were to, uh, I guess the base case to, is to eventually um, anticipate one hike this year of at least 25 basis points, which could either probably come uh, September or December. That's why we're keeping our year-end uh, target at 8,000. So just one hike and it's for not... For the index. Just one hike and it's not going to be this month. Uh, Jonas, when you look at the peso though and you compare it to other currencies, it's kind of just treading water. Is that good or bad in your view and in light of the country's macroeconomic picture? Okay, the nice thing about the peso ranging between uh, 47, 47, 50 is that uh, we are actually at a sweet spot which allows foreign investors to start looking at the Philippines as an investment destination. It slightly takes off a little bit of the valuation concerns given the prospects that, you know, probably the, uh, the inflows of portfolio funds should probably keep the peso uh, looking to appreciate over the next 6 to 12 months, uh, or around 46. So this is good for investors. And eventually, at the same time, it's good for OFWs and exporters at this, uh, eventually support their business and support consumption for the economy. All right, we're going to have to leave it at that. Jonas Arellos from BDO Unibank, thank you for your insights.